Time is really flying by. It's almost two years now since we started the bodybuilding transformation and about five months since uh, we quit. And just to fill some of you guys in, you know, around two years, four months ago, I started making some fitness workout videos because, you know, for most of my teenage years and early 20s, I was a bodybuilder. And since I was a pretty skinny twerp at the time, not having lifted weights for six, seven, eight years, <laughs> the videos weren't too well received to say the least. I got so much negative attention from so many people. And <laughs> apparently I didn't learn my lesson after posting that first you know, workout tips video. I posted like three or four more of them and it just got worse and worse and worse. And I didn't really feel like I had anything to prove, but <laughs> I didn't have pictures. I just had like one thing from a physique competition that I didn't even do when I was that big. Uh, so, you know, after a little bit of debate back and forth, cause you know, I had the business, I was doing YouTube videos every day. I didn't think bodybuilding was healthy. I even think I have a video on my channel from like three years ago titled bodybuilding is toxic, my story. It wasn't something that I deemed healthy. I felt horrible doing it, but I decided to do the bodybuilding transformation to prove that my workout tips and everything I was saying worked. <laughs> Fast forward a year and a half later, you know, I gained a decent amount of muscle, maybe 20, 25 pounds from muscle memory. I published the workout course and I mean, I broke even, you know, I had to pay a videographer, you know, over a thousand dollars to make that course. And I didn't really sell that many. You know, but I feel like I set out what I was looking to achieve. And the real unfortunate thing is the you know what nonsense. The lockdown, fitness was the last thing on the back burner. And all that nonsense actually happened when I think I was already like four, five, six months into the fitness journey. So I was like, I bought all this gym equipment. Do I just stop and give up? But I stuck through it for another year reluctantly damaging my body, not sleeping, eating too much food, probably compromising my business. Maybe I could have taken things over sooner myself. And it just really wasn't worth it in the end. You know, I've learned, you know, over that period of time that especially the fitness community, it's just one big club. And look, I'm not going to make any gay jokes in this video. A lot of that stuff I do is in like a joking manner, but in all seriousness, you know, what those people do to be a part of that is, I don't want anything to do with it. And there's a reason I haven't really seen much success or viewership despite, you know, looking pretty good and giving fitness tips. So, you know, this is not what I look like pumped up after dieting for a week, after working out. I haven't worked out in five months. I just got up out of bed. I didn't diet for a week. I didn't fast for two days. I didn't do anything. This is what I look like now. I'm still about 150 pounds. And if you guys didn't see those past videos, you don't have to watch all of them. Maybe just watch, you know, the one where I titled it, I quit bodybuilding, you know, why I explain everything I do, like a final physique update. And I didn't actually lose that much muscle. I would say probably five pounds, but I gained fat. You know, I'm a little, a little more around the waist. Can't really complain. I still look pretty good, but maybe that pizza the past two weeks kind of caught up to me because I honestly would be a bit leaner right now and maybe a few pounds less if I wasn't stuffing myself. Still, I would say, you know, a month or two back in the gym, I'd probably gain that muscle. You know, so surprisingly, you know, still around the weight that I was when I finished the challenge. And I mean, I'm happy with how I look. The only thing I wish I did was cut that horrible mop of hair and then done another shirtless photo shoot. So I don't know, maybe I'll try to get back in the gym a little bit and just like pump up my chest and shoulders a little bit because I feel like, you know, that's all I really need. I never did abs. So if I just get back in the gym a little bit, do chest and shoulders, a couple exercises a couple times a week, maybe I can like diet for a week and lean out and then do another beach body photo shoot. And I'm not going to look as pumped up and muscular as I did towards the end of the bodybuilding transformation, but I'm still really not that far off. And yeah, granted, I have a, a pretty physical labor job, uh, especially towards the first few months where I, I took back over the meat business. I was just moving heavy stuff around all day, but these past few weeks, not as much. I guess the bigger thing that happened over that two year period of time was me quitting the carnivore diet. You know, going from eating two, three, four pounds of meat and fat per day 
to maybe a pound, a pound and a half, two pounds of meat per day with a lot of carbohydrates from grains or potatoes. Now we have some vegetables thrown in here and there. Now we're on the pizza and cookie diet, but my calories haven't really gone down. I'm still eating a similar amount to when I was doing the bodybuilding stuff, except now I won't care if I miss like a meal a couple of times a week. Like yesterday, I only ate once, but I'm still kind of stuffing myself, eating as much as I want uh, you know, to stay full, keep my digestive motility up, help heal my liver. And as much as I've wanted to do hiking, ground some more, the 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 Honestly, guys, I just I just really don't have time. I just I just spend all my extra time sleeping. To be honest, if I have it, I try to relax. You know, I'm trying to meet some girls, go on a few dates here and there. But every time I I even bother doing that, it's a nightmare. Um, hopefully, you know, we get uh, the business up and running uh, to some degree. We can get the slaughterhouse to some degree, and I can fly in some Dominican girls or something to have some fun. But until that happens, I just I really don't have time to be distracted from anything besides the work because. You know, the second, even if I just like take my sister out to dinner one night to, to have a little um, something like that, <laughs> I, like, I'll forget to do something with the business, I'll forget to enter some emails, and things start falling apart pretty, pretty quickly. And by that I just mean, you know, I don't like being put in a, a pickle or a situation where I'm not comfortable. And, you know, if I'm not comfortable with, you know, the business, how everything is organized, how everything's working, then it's just a lot more stressful. What was even more comical is all of that steroid nonsense. Like, <laughs> at first they said, I never lifted a weight in my life. I curled 15 pound dumbbells. They made fun of me for being a pathetic wimp. Then about six months into the routine, all of these clowns were saying that I was juicing out of my mind using steroids, which is completely, completely ridiculous. But um, one thing that I have done consistently, or at least I've tried to, is every two or three weeks, eating the, the beef testicles, lamb testicles, whatever, is an amazing, amazing, amazing testosterone boost. Because and when you have liver damage, all of the estrogens in our environment, your testosterone goes down, you lose energy, and you need like a constant boost. So a lot of these other fitness influencers, a lot of these vegan bodybuilders that are using synthetic testosterone, for me, you know, discovering that eating raw animal testicles gives you a testosterone boost has been a real lifesaver. But I don't really want to go into that too much. I've done probably half a dozen videos pertaining to hormones and, and that now. And I just felt like I, I should throw it in here because uh, it has to do with the bodybuilding, has to do with testosterone. Very important for energy levels. It, look, it doesn't matter how much you sleep. It doesn't matter how much you work out. It doesn't matter how much you eat. Testosterone will trump all of those things. It, it, I would say it's about equal to, if not higher than all of those other factors. So simply by eating you know, lamb testicles once a week, getting that bioactive testosterone to restore your levels to normal, that will give me more energy than sleeping right, than missing meals, than working out, exercising, hiking. It, it's so, so, so important. It's, it's something I overlook. You know, there's a lot of things I always overlook. Taking vitamin C. You know, sometimes I feel crappy. I forgot, oh, I haven't taken vitamin C in months. There's always things uh, pertaining to health that I overlook and the bodybuilding was just making it <laughs> even harder on my body and way too difficult. Honestly, if my genetics were a little better, I would have probably stuck through it. You know, I can put on muscle pretty easily. I look pretty good beach body, but you know, chest insertions, you know, narrow waist, wide shoulders, I don't have any of that. You know, even if I took an incredible amount of steroids, which I would never do, and competed in men's physique, you know, it's really, really genetic dependent. Um, the, the bone structure, the muscle insertions, all that type of stuff. And if you don't have it, you know, regardless of how much you want to do it, regardless of how much you believe you can do it, it always instills that doubt when you look at other people. It's just not reality. I mean, I definitely have to get in the gym a little bit and just correct some things. Uh, like I have a, a rotator cuff issue because I used to use my mouse on the computer all day with my left hand forward and that kind of messed up my neck. So I definitely want to do a little bit of that stretching every day. Uh, I have some lower back issues because my glutes don't activate, so I have to do some, some glute exercises. Just balance things out again instead of being an upper body builder, basically. Uh, so hopefully I can do that over the next few months, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll end up getting to the beach for the first time in God knows how many years. I don't even want to think about it. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. I thought this was just a little easy video to do because, you know, it's Sunday. I work every single day. I could write up a video script about some news nonsense, current events, just for it to get censored even more. And I didn't feel like doing that. 
Um, and I've been wanting to do this physique update for probably two or three months now. I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, so maybe I'll try to, you know, get motivated, make a little bit of a transformation for five, six months from now. We can do another update. Uh, so thanks again, guys. frank to support me through all of my businesses. I'll see you for tomorrow.